I'm Anil Kumar. We'll discuss an example which will be of indeterminate products and we'll apply Lee Hospital's rule to find the limit. The example here is find limit when x approaches 0 for cot 2x sine 6x. Now in this particular case, if I substitute 0 into the expression, what do I get? I get cot of 0 times sine of 0. Now cot of 0 is infinity, right? That is infinity and sine of 0 is 0. So we get indeterminate product. So we are multiplying infinity by 0. We are not very sure what the result should be, right? That's the infinite, infinity times 0. Now to solve such questions, what we should do is that we should rewrite this expression in the form that we have 0 over 0. Since infinity could be written as 1 over 0, right? Does make sense, right? So it becomes like kind of 0 over 0. So that's the strategy to understand. So now the question is, we need to find limit when x approaches 0. So instead of cot 2x, we could write this as 1 over tan, right? So it could be written in the denominator as tan 2x. And we have sine 6x in the numerator. So this, which was resulting into infinity, now will result into 0 in the denominator. So what we have here now is a form 0 over 0. Do you see that? So that is indeterminate form. Now we can apply the Lee Hospital's rule. So we'll apply this rule now. And the rule is to find the derivatives for the numerator and the denominator. So we get limit. x approaches 0. Sin x derivative is cos x. So we get cos x cos 6x this time and derivative of 6x is 6 so 6 times cos x right and as far as tan 2x is concerned it will be 2 times secant square 2x right so we get the ratio 6 cos 6x over 2 secant square 2x right now again we can actually substitute 0 here if I substitute 0, cos 0 will become 1 and secant 2x, 0 will also be 1, right? So we can find the answer. So what we get here is, you could actually simplify this also, but I'll keep it as such. 6 over 2, we'll simplify it to 3 later, right? 6 over 2. And when I substitute 0 here, I get cos of 0. 6 times 0 divided by secant square 0, right? Now that gives us 6 divided by 2 is 3. Cos of 0, you know, is 1 and secant square 0 is also 1. So we get 1 over 1, right? Which is equal to 3. And therefore, the limit of this function is 3. And that is how we will solve it. So this is an example where we have indeterminate products. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.